Hi, it's Maria from the Tower Shop here, and this is a brand new deck called the World Dragon Oracle. I have taken a little peek. Um, you can see that it's got this gorgeous, like, snake skin effect on the box. It splits into half, and then I believe that you stand your card up in there if you have a daily card, so you can stand it to one side. Oh, let me see what it says on the back. So dragon spirits from all around the world work together to hold balance between all things and all realms. Then there's the names of the dragons. They inspire and guide you towards balance in your own life. Using her unique system that draws inspirations from the major arcana of tarot, um, Virginia Chandler reveals how these dragon stories and archetypes illuminate your past and unveil your future. She does tend to advocate using them as a, div a divination method. So... Let's have a look. So inside the box, I've got all of our beautiful dragons. So you have a booklet that comes with it, which you do need. And it explains at the very beginning, when I had a little peek, that actually um, about the dragon power and how to, the names of the dragons. So you go through and you've got the names of all the dragons. And then at the very back, it says, <clears throat> so once you familiar yourself with the individual dragon cards, it's time to work with the oracle. In this chapter, you'll find some alternative methods for adding to your experience. Remember the dragon's coils cards symbolize where you will discover what's needed for resolution. The answers lie within the inner spiritual world, outer physical world, or the convergence center of the two. So... That's another alternative reading, but I think at the very beginning, if I remember rightly, she tells you exactly how to use it. Yeah, so 28 cards, 25 of them are dragons, and there are three of them that are either inner, outer, or both worlds that you need to work on so let me show you what the cards are and she says that um is that it let me just take these things off here um fingers and thumbs that's it so i'm oh, eating up my table here so here are the dragons and then you have these three cards and i believe she says to shuffle them like this and then you have a question in mind and you turn it over to see whether the answer is an inner spiritual coil or whether it's a outer or whether it's a convergence, which is the world with both of them. So you have these three cards which act, in essence, I would say as a significator, essentially. And then these are the dragon cards. So let's have a look at these. Sorry, I've got the overhead on. It's rather dull today. So it's really working. Gosh me. Um, it's really working with the dragon energy. So you've got these gorgeous dragon cards. <clears throat> aren't they lovely <clears throat> i wouldn't even begin to try and say the names although i do rather like that one the growl dragon so if you like if you feel drawn towards dragons and you feel that dragon energy may be something that you want to work with because it's an oracle deck then i would say that this is a really good fit for you it feels as if it's a very develop developmental deck so you would use it you know, to give you the answers, and she uses it for divination, so, Merlin's dragons, I'll only read the ones I can read, I mean, I could never read that, could you read that, I don't, I can read that, pearl dragon, <laughs> pen dragon, so these are all the names, that's gorgeous, isn't it, of the dragons, of St George's, and then we don't know the name of them, so you've got those are the dragon cards. Then you have these three tools or divination ones. And then you have the booklet. And you have this box. So you can pull a daily card. I mean, I would imagine you would go, is it inner, outer or both? Pop it in there and then see what cards are. And you can work with that energy for the day. So I hope that you found that interesting. And um, thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.